Prepare to meet your doom! Halt, villain! Halt, villain? Really, Leo? Anyway, we can stop this guy. We will stop Dexter Speckman? No! Maxter Stockboy? That's not it. Eekman Stock Guy? Wrong again. Batman Rocksman? It's Baxter Stockman! Ah, oh, forget it. I'm going home and working on my mousers. Booyah Kasha! Go to BigBadToyStore.com for all your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys! Yeah! I love you, kids. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Baxter Stockman Basic Action Figure. Once again, I'd like to thank Playmates Toys for sending me out this figure to review for you guys. Uh, let's take a closer look at the packaging. It says Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with Baxter Stockman and the turtles on the side here. It says Baxter Stockman, evil minded mad scientist, turtle power. Also at the bottom, it shows uh, instructions that you have to attach the feet since they're packaged separately from the uh, the figure. Back here has Baxter Stockman's bio, it talks about his weapons, he's part of the Foot Clan, uh, feel free to pause and read it, as well as you see other figures in the line including Snakeweed. Well, it's time to do a Baxter Stockman review of DOOM! Here we got Beekman Stockboy, I mean Baxter Stockman, a very cool figure. Let's take a closer look at him. Now, I love Baxter Stockman even back in the 80s uh, when he was uh, Caucasian turned into a fly, but the original uh, comic character and of course in 2003 and on the 2012 show is African American and voiced brilliantly by Phil Lamar. And I love the head scope on here. You can see uh, he's really cool, like you know, the glasses and his afro and everything. Uh, the paint on here is pretty nice, uh, it has some red paint uh, on the chest and around here, and nice detail on his like claw like fingers. You know, has some cool little detail. Can see the screw on the back. Oh, he's man, Baxter Sogman is screwed uh, all over, man. Oh, poor guy. But yeah, you can see the feet, which uh, you know were attached, very easy to attach. It does have peg holes too, so that's really cool uh, for using for the uh, secret sewer place up. But overall, it has that nice, cool CGI uh, turtles look. Now, for articulation, Baxter Sogman's head does uh, move left and right. It I, it could fully rotate, but you know it'd be a little hard, so I don't fully recommend it. The arms do uh, go forward and back, in and out. They bend at the elbow. Pretty nice elbow on uh, a full 90 degree. Uh, the, the wrists do rotate, which I do like. The fingers uh, don't move, but they are on this kind of pliable plastic where they're. If you want them to hold something, they they'll let you like you know they're pliable enough where they won't break if you move them. So that's that's really good, I like that. It does have full waist articulation, which I like too. The legs do go forward and back, really good. They go in and out that much, not too, uh, can't do the full splits, but still pretty good. And he bends at the knee, no ankle articulation, but still pretty good. When those turtles see me in this suit, they will meet their doom for the might of Baxter. Now, wait, how about Baxman? No, no, that's bad. The Sutinator. No, no, that's, uh, how about uh, punch your face, man? I kind of like the Sudanator. Oh, thanks. But actually, you know what I would call you? What? The Fly. Wait, the Fly? Yeah, you know, like your 80s counterpart? What are you talking about? You'll see, Jeff Goldblum. It's Baxter Stockman! Size comparison time. So here you can see Baxter Stockman isn't completely in scale with the other turtle figures, but you know, all of them aren't anyway. But with the turtles like Raphael here, he is taller. Um, he is like, compared to other six inch figures like the Mark IV II Iron Man or the Injustice Batman, uh, he is about a good mm, like five inches tall. Uh, like maybe a little bit taller. Uh, you can see he is bigger than Dog Pound, which in that suit he should be, uh, but even though the character would be smaller than Dog Pound, obviously. But, uh, and you can see uh, how bigger it is than a normal 3 3 4 inch figure like the Mark 7 Iron Man. Baxter Stockman is definitely one of my favorite villains of the Ninja Turtles of all time. And I'm glad to see him on the show. I freaking love him. He's hilarious and, and so, so much fun. Uh, the figure is actually really cool. I really like, uh, he has good articulation and I like the, they went with his uh, suit version instead of the normal human one. It'd be cool if they included some mousers with him, but uh, Playmates is um, uh, coming out with some, a mouser 
there's like five packs so stay tuned for that which will be really cool so you can army build your mousers um it would have been cool too if either the figure was a little bit bigger but you know at eight nine bucks you know this is still you know a really uh, good figure with uh, good articulation like i said uh, uh i i think he looks really good just like his cartoon counter uh, counterpart and of the newer figures he's definitely one of my favorite so I, I definitely recommend them. For more geek news, reviews, podcasts, and more, go to bkbn.net. I'm Sean Long, member of Subway Trim, in a big way. Go to bkbn.net. Go to bkbn.net. Go to bkbn.net. I'll tell you to go. Go down. My super bkbn.net. Go to bkbn.net. My suit is even more powerful than ever. It's time for you guys to meet my suit of doom. No, oh, I wasn't going to say it. It's my suit of uh, Iron Man. Hey. There's only one Iron Man here, Dexter Stockboy. It's Baxter Stockboy! Ah!